So, welcome back, party people in the place to be. So, in part one of this um, series, we showed how to wire up the hardware with the Quick Connect sensor for the temperature sensor as well as for the CO2 sensor. In part two, we showed how to use the libraries to write the code so you could set the alert that would make the robot either spin clockwise or counterclockwise. So here in part three, all that's left to do is show the demo. Remember, if the temperature gets below a certain threshold, the robot spins clockwise. And if the CO2 gets above a certain threshold, the robot spins counterclockwise. We do the CO2 check by blowing onto the sensor, and we do the temperature check by using my handy dandy fan. 